Hey, what's up? I got some more lore content for you guys. The recent variety patch has really shaken up the meta, releasing a few new cards to play with. On top of some pretty crazy balance changes, most of the decks that were strong last patch are still good, but some new decks have received a massive surge in play rate and win rate. Let's see what the early strongest decks of patch 4.2 are, shall we? Welcome to Meta Report. And to start us off with the best performing deck so far this patch, we have Jace Lux, to no one's surprise. With a win rate of 56.2% and a play rate of 4.5%, it is extremely popular and extremely powerful. The best matchups for this deck are Scouts, Zoe Aphelios, Nora Bard, and Ezreal Annie Control. Now the worst matchups are Pirates, Jax Orn, Blunder, and fearsomes. So getting into the list specifically, uh, it's not exactly how I would run it, but this is one of the lists that I got from stats websites that a lot of people are playing, so I'm going to break it down for you. We have double thermo beam. This can be doubled up as early removal, or you save the mana and use this in the mid late game. Can also stack with Lux to get a laser, so that's super nice. Forge Chief is a fantastic early game unit. One mana, two one on strike, you get a spell mana back. So this card pays for itself as long as it strikes once. If it strikes more than once, then obviously you're getting very good value out of this card. Next we have Piltoven Telstones, which can be a choice of Aftershock, Transmogulator, or Progress Day. Usually it's Aftershock for removal or landmark destruction, or Progress Day for draw and refill in the late game if you desperately need it. Next we have Pharaoh's Financier, which is a very balanced card. 2 mana, 2 1 on play, manifest a 6 cost spell from your regions. That's obviously really good at getting the extra resource. It has synergy with Jace and Lux. That way they get to double cast or get lasers from it respectively, and just keep your pressure going. You get removal or you get units, all kinds of different stuff from Mr. Pharaoh's Financier here. Next we have Mage Seeker Persuader. You can drop this early and then play a 6 cost spell later, and he will gain 1 1 and Challenger. If you play him later after playing a 6 cost, he'll just you know, on summon have the plus one plus one challenger. Really good for beating down the opponent's board. You can sit on this guy, sharp sight protect him, um, right? Just kind of control the board and chill with a nice premium unit. Next we have triple mystic shot, of course, P and Z removal. Very nice. Double sharp sight uh, for a little bit of protection. Again, with the mage seeker, we can protect financier. You can protect your champions with it. All really good there. Next we have triple flash of brilliance, which is an interesting card. I myself, again, wouldn't run this, but it is in here for um duping your spell mana essentially you cast this for three you get three back so like let's say you have lux developed and then you double flash of brilliance that is six mana spent so you get a laser right away and a level you get two spells out of it right so it has a little bit of a um high value aspect especially if you have multiple but i usually see this card more in heimer decks but yeah it can be played here as well to just like turbo lux and also get some more spells for you Next we have the Forge of Tomorrow on Summon, Summon a 3-3, and then when you play a 6 cost spell, destroy me, refill your spell mana. So like, let's say you're on turn 6, you have your full 6 mana plus 3 spell mana, you get to play a 6 cost spell, that will get your 3 mana back, you can play another 6 cost spell. So that's pretty much when this is ideal. Uh, it's absolutely insane value if you can pull it off, especially if you have Lux on 5. Then you play a uh, 6 cost spell on 6, and then you get to play another one, and that gets out of control really, really fast, as long as Forge is set up, so that's a really nice combo piece. Next we have Jace. Jace is our first champion, 4-4-4, four, 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 uh, looking like Jin over here. Uh, when you cast two 6 cost spells, uh, level up, and then on level, he can copy them, making you cast them twice. If Lux sees this, she gets two lasers, so that's where the synergy comes in of having both champs on board. Really, really strong, and also additional copies of Jason Hand become Shock Blast, which is a very strong card. He also gets Acceleration Gate, which you can use as a finisher. Next, we have our other champion, Lux, arguably the more important one. You can sit on Lux on turn five, and then on turn six, level her, and just start getting out some lasers, right? As long as you play six costs. Uh, worth of mana, then she levels, and then you get more laser whenever she sees you cast six cost worth of spells, even more. So really nice here. Extra copies of her become Prismatic Barrier, which can protect her from damage removal. Really nice. So yeah, they're really, really strong, especially if they're set up together one after another. You can kind of just curve Jace into Lux, into six cost spell, into another six cost spell. And it's like, hey, yo, what is going on? Very, very powerful from ahead, especially if the opponent doesn't have direct ways to remove them. Next we have double assembly line, really nice, just summon two 3-3s three for the cost of 6 with synergy with the deck. Next we have the new card formula, so this is kind of what gave Jace Lux a lot of leeway to come up in the meta, draw 2, refill your spell mana, so it's basically 3 mana draw 2 if you have the uh, spell mana for it and uh, play it out for your full 6. 
and then uh, it has synergy. So not only is it a three mana draw two, but it also levels Lux. It also helps level Jace. It can be double cast. It gives you a laser. You see, it's really, really scary. This is like a dual card. Definitely the best card in the deck and uh, very, very terrifying. It creates a lot of really, really crazy uh, snowball effects when you have it up and the uh, champions out there as well. Next, we have Double Hex Obliterator. Single target removal obliterates an enemy instead of killing it, which is obviously very good. So it skips the graveyard, can't be summoned back. It uh, gets rid of weapons if weapons are equipped. A really nice card. Uh, insane single target removal at fast speed, by the way. Next, we have a Double Shock Blast. This one is a slow speed removal. Deal three to two things. Your choice, you can pick two units, you can pick a Nexus in a unit, stuff like that. Of course, Jace can double cast it as well, dealing six. Really scary. And then a couple Albus Pharaohs to round it out. This is uh, Jace Boat. It's a tutor. So uh, on summon, you get to draw Jace. And then when Albus attacks, he deals direct damage to the enemy Nexus, closing out the game and being a nice finisher card. And that about wraps it up for the deck rundown. Now here's a live commentary game so you can see how it plays out. I'll be giving context to why I'm playing certain cards and hopefully it gives you a good feel on how to play the deck. Alright, for the example game we have the recently popular uh, Lucian Evelyn. It has come up because of the Lucian rework and also Evelyn buff, right? With the steam and the hate spike, so they actually have some great merit being played together. We have Jace, Flash Flash, and Tellstones. Now if we saw Lux instead of Jace, we'd be very happy with Double Flash. Uh, I do believe I want to pitch both of them though. Keep Jace, keep the Tellstone, because Aftershock is really nice. We can kill one of the Husks and use it as removal. Oh, there's our Lux. I've only kept the Flash, but we are on both champions. Multiple copies of them, in fact. So we're down to float the first couple turns. This is something that happens very often in this deck, is float the first two turns, and then you can play a 6-cost spell on turn 3, and then just curve 4, 5, and then another 6-cost spell on 6, and that just plays itself, right? Really good for us, so we're going to take... Oh, we didn't take 2 free damage here, don't tell them, they don't know. Uh, formula, that's also really good. There is some merit to just saving this. Hmm... I'm intrigued. So no matter what, we're actually going to pass here because we don't want to do first action. If they play Vora or Dami, we can do Shock Blast and kill Sculptor and the Husk. That way Evelyn doesn't level on 4. It's really important to use our removal on the um, Husk on 4. Or before 4, so that Evelyn doesn't come down. Uh, do we keep that? We keep that. Get rid of these. If they have Ranger's Resolve, then Dami can live, which is a little scary, but they do not have it. Goodbye, goodbye. So long. Now Evelyn cannot level. So we slow them down a turn, which is fantastic if they do have Evelyn in hand. Hello, Vora. We are going to play Challenger Jace in this matchup, not Quick Attack. Challenger. That way we can grab the Husk. We just want to threaten the Husk every action we can and be really annoying for them. It's a very interesting way to play the game, and it's actually quite different. This is a very matchup specific thing that I learned fighting Evelyn many, many times. We actually want to do this. And then sit on Lux, and then play uh, 6 cost right, stuff on 6. Let the light guide you. Yep, we should be in a fantastic spot now. That's a big Dawn Speaker, though, holy. Alright, um. Formula is pretty chill. That way we get our spell mana back, which is nice. Uh, so we can call, cast three stuff. Oh my goodness gracious. We're probably actually going to have to Hex Bliterator. Right? Because that gives us a laser. We get level. If we do formula, yeah, we burst speed. But I can't actually kill this Genevieve. We'll have three mana back. Maybe we can trade up into her with Sharp Sight. Or we have Barrier. Maybe we're okay. Um, yeah, let's do formula. I guess formula's fine. I've been hiding my light too long. That's an instant Lux level and a Jace level on the same turn. Never so good. There we go. Give me my mana back. Give me my mana. And then we final spark you. Oh, we could final spark you. Hmm. I wonder who she is going to grab. We're, <laughs> we're actually taking some damage this turn too, by the way. So we can final spark this. Then on scout attack, um, I guess we prismatic barrier. Or we can sharp sight the Jace, right? Because that's 
who she wants to swing into for sure. Uh, and then next turn, we just kind of win the game. Yep. Let us do... Um, I think Prismatic is actually better here. Because I don't think our Lux is going to be threatened this turn or die. I'm just willing to take five. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's just do this. Kind of strong for us. Yep. Yep. Um, blocking. We can definitely block the Dawn Speakers at the very least, because that's only two attack. They have Sharp Sight, they put it up to three. They have Sharp Sight, they put this to five, this to six, and this to five. So, we can do this. Now's not a good time. And, oh, they also have Hate Spike. Let's be careful of Hate Spike, yeah? Shine with me. Two mana Hate Spike, kind of scary. So, let's go ahead and just block with Lux. That way, we prevent two damage. I mean, that's nice. And we can't die to hate spike now. So we should just be good to go. Our allies did not fall in vain. Alright. So now, yo, what up, Flash of Brilliance? Create a room, six costs. Refill your spell mana. Um, that's really good. That's actually broken for us. What a top deck. Yep, because we get laser right away. Then we still get our six mana, so we can play our shock blast. Rangers, okay. That is going to be annoying, actually. Sure, though. Now we actually have to do math, which is kind of unfortunate. I didn't want to do math in my online children's card game, but here we are. We're definitely playing a six-cost spell for a hello. Now that's a bit better. We need to kill this for sure, because I'm getting kind of tired of them. But we can kill him with a laser, right? So let's do Shock Blast. Uh... Can we kill 5 HP things? We cannot. We can only kill 4 HP plus tough. Goodness, this is annoying. So... This, this. We're gonna get 2 lasers. We laser 1, 3. And the 5, 1. We have Challenger Jace. Okay. I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Hold on, there's, there's like massive brain thinking going on. I don't have enough time. Here, here. I'm pretty sure we need to snipe this and this. No. It has to be the tough units, actually, yeah. Hey, show me that again. Double cast. Give me some lasers. One laser's going to the Dawn Speaker. For sure. One laser going to 5 1. Uh, swing Let's first. Go. That way they can't get extra sculptor value, because I am swinging this turn into one of the sculptors. It doesn't really matter which one. Or I can do this save my Jace, laser, laser. That does the same effect, essentially. Alright, I like this better. Take less damage on my Jace. Laser here. Laser here, or laser here. It doesn't really matter. We're just gonna start lasering, okay? Another dawn. A mm. little annoying. Okay. Laser here. Laser here. It's because I don't like their on summon value. I don't really mind this being one extra attack. Yeah, I'm going to end up hex obliterating it anyways. Okay. Fun. Oh, we have Shock Blast again, though. That's actually better. Play a card. Play Lucian. Oh, Genevieve. Number two. Shock Blast you. Shock Blast, uh... You? Oh, my goodness. Five, six. Shock Blast you and you. Then I can actually block the 5-6 with Sharp Sight. Um, yeah, because they're probably going to attack. That way I don't have to lose my champions by doing this. We are wasting the damage on the Vora, but it's okay. 
Mm -mm -mm. Right. We just kind of control them and laser them to death. It's like Earth Lux. Love that. The next deck that I want to talk about is not too far behind Jace Lux, honestly, and that is Garen Jarvan Elite. With a win rate of 57.03% and a play rate of 4.07%, it has actually a tiny bit higher win rate, but of course a lower play rate, but it is right there with it. So, its best matchups are against Zoe Aphelios, Karma Yi, Twisted Fate, the, the Parley Keg stuff, and Timo Caitlyn. Now the bad matchups are Nasus Kindred Senna, Heimerdinger Nora, Brom Nora, and Jax Orn. And getting into the list specifically, we have Mono Demacia. Look at that, all Demacia cards. This is a deck that I chose to cover in my most recent beginner friendly uh, deck video. Like it's it's such a good deck and it's really cheap to make, really easy to play. So highly recommend for the newer players out there. We have Triple Scythria, Triple Ramhound. This rounds out the one drops. They are very strong and they have the elite tag. We are going to be playing solely for the elite tag. That is what the deck is all about. Playing a tribe and using synergies and buffs to get them going. So it's a 1 mana 2 2, but also elite. This is a 1 mana 1 1, also elite. And it says, The first time you summon another elite, grant me 2 2. So it's actually a 1 mana 3 3, as long as you play something after it. Next, we have Battlesmith 2 2 2. When you summon an elite, grant it 1 1. So this is a bench unit. We want to play this guy on turn 2 and try to protect him while also summoning more elites later after him and then he starts bumping them all he's not an elite himself so you can't do like double battlesmith and they buff each other but the battlesmiths will individually buff all the elites that you play and they get really big really fast you'd be surprised how like important plus one plus one is um next we have double sharp sight for protection double single combat to control the board um triple vanguard defender 222 uh, elite if you if it's hit by battlesmith it's a 233 three tough which is really really scary tough is a very very good keyword on this card next we have the new card the reason why this deck has also reached a big big power spike and uh win rate and play rate spikes as well three mana four four beyond premium stats with also elite tag with also i can block units with elusive so to put this into context, I would actually equate this card to like a 5 mana worth, worth of stats and effects. If you count the keyword, you count the I can't, uh, I can always block elusives. Like this card is like 5 mana worth of value on turn 3. And he can be buffed by Battlesmith to be a 3 mana 5-5. Five five. Uh, it's it's kind of broken, isn't it? If you just play Ramhound into Battlesmith into Badger Bear... I think you just win the game, no? Like, it's actually insane. So yeah, this deck is really easy. You just play one drop, two drop, three drop, and then the opponent probably surrenders. Of course, you have to be really good at combat and uh, take the trades efficiently to get the full value out of this deck because it is a board-centric, um, value-based deck that really wants to win on board and win during combat. So you do have to be good at combat once you get it down. This deck is nasty. Next, we have another Elite 333. Uh, when I'm summoned, draw a unit if an ally died this round. So it's a nice little refill card. If something dies, you play this. It has an elite buff, right? And then, boom, you get a, a card from deck, a unit. So really nice. Next, we have Double Sergeant, 333. When I'm summoned, create a 4 Demacia. Use this as a finish. If you are wide, you have a lot of units on board. You can buff them all with 3-3 and then swing. Uh, Vanguard Squire. While this card is in your hand and she sees you play elites, she gets cheaper. So you can play this for free as a 3-3. With buffs like battlesmith yeah you can do that so you can kind of just like play multiple on turn three or turn four and kind of win the game it's really cool now we have silverwing vanguard four mana two one challenger summon exact copy this gets buffs as well because it's elite and then you know you summon two of them really nice with challenger that way you can grab really annoying units like champions that you want to kill that you don't want the opponent to have Next, we have Vanguard Bannerman because this is Mono Demacia. We get to run the Allegiance card. Grant other allies 1 1 on summon. Also, Elite. Really nice. Garen, our first champion. When I'm summoned, give other allies 1 1 this round. So, just like Bannerman, but only for the round. I strike twice. Then you get to rally every round start, which is nice. Um, Ardent Tracker 6 3 5. So, this is a really interesting one. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people play it recently. It's like taken in and taken out, but I think this card is very good. On average, you're going to play this on maybe turn 4. Best case scenario, you can play this on turn 3. And it's a uh, scout. That's a 3-5 and also elite. So it gets buffs, gets board pressure, really scary. You know, get to attack twice with it. Whittle some things down that are a bit bigger or just use it to roll over the game in a snowball style effect. Really cool card. I choose to run this over Concerted Strike even. So yeah, really nice. 
Next we have double Jarvan. We don't need three because that actually gets a bit bricky. So it's three Garen, two Jarvan. So this is actually a pretty good budget friendly version. You don't have to sack the three wild cards for Jarvan. Just two is necessary. And he's really good. He comes out later. And then we have double champion strength to close out the game. This is the uh, rally card that gives your allies 4-4 and also scout if you're attacking. If you're on defense turn, it just lets you rally. But um, yeah, if you actually have Garen level and he rallies for you and then you champion strength, you can get scout on your defense turn and that's not chill. So yeah, that's a really, really strong way to end the game as well. And that's it for this deck rundown. Now here's a live commentary game so you can see how it plays out. Alright, for the example game, we have the uh, Jace Lux deck that I just played, so that's really funny. Um, of course, it's the strongest deck versus the second strongest deck, so I'm pretty curious to see how this is going to go. Uh, I want to pitch this, this, and this. We want to keep Ramhound on turn 1, and hopefully it does not get Thermobeamed. That's the only out they have on exactly turn 1. Uh, we'll probably float 2 for Sharp Sight, play another Ramhound on 3. Hello, Jarvan. Okay, Ramhound. So we just want to set up. We want to get our units on the board. We want to get our buffs. And we want to just completely win out, right? And get too big to remove. Uh, we'll see if we get there. Uh, yeah, we're going to float too. Wow, we drew both Jarvins back to back. That's a little awkward. Uh, they, of course, want to pass the first two turns like I did last game. That makes sense. Uh, play Badger Bear. Nice. So we have Badger Bear. We have Sharp Sight. Really tanky. So they can't even use Shock Blast this turn. Like, it's just not good, because we'll Sharp Sight and then push 8, right? That's why we float here, because we have Sharp Sight in hand, might as well. <laughs> of course, if I played Ramhound into Ramhound into exactly top deck Badger Bear, that would have been really good too, but I didn't know Badger Bear was going to be on top. Could have been Garen, right? For all I know. Swing. Sounds good. No Sharp Sight, because I would have matched it. No Sharp Sight to trade. All right. We're kind of just chilling then. Get to work. Interesting. Alright. I wonder what that means. Because they could have played the Persuader last turn. Interesting. Garen. There he is. We're double champed up. Mystic shot. No. I could let him die and then redeem her. But no. Keep him at one. We want to make the removal not efficient. If we make them cast two spells on the same unit to kill him, then that's really good for us. Um, yeah, we can do this. Let's go, people. And then I'm pretty sure what we do is threaten the pass, let them use removal or shock blast, and then we redeem her. What you got? There's the shock blast. Very good. Now we get our full value redeemer. Our ancestors are watching. Yep. Read that turn like a book. And then we Garen right on five. We fight for those who cannot. Four, 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 five, five. Really good development into an empty board. Against primarily three damage removal spells, right? We strike. You look guilty. Sharp sight. Mystic. Second mystic shot. To kill our Garen. 8 HP, 3 cards in hand. We have 20 HP, 4 cards in hand, 2 on board. So, uh, yeah, we're doing quite good. Another Garen as well. Emily. Um, I think we just outright play Garen. Garen first action deters the attack. They have to pass now. We play Ramhound. Then we open Jarvan. That will buff our Ramhounds. We have a really nice attack. Uh, uh. We do not want to play slow. We do not need to play slow and develop. We just open. And we are threatening lethal. Yep. A Hexbliterator. Yep. Makes sense to me. They are at 2 HP. And we will also play Sithria for fun. Yep. And GG, yeah. I mean, we just kind of went out for sure. It's so hard to come back from that. And the final deck I have for you is the premium standard control feel style control deck of the patch, which is Heimer Jace. Yes, another Jace deck, who would have thought? With a win rate of 54.94%, 
but a play rate of 2.67%. It's a little bit more niche than the other two, but of course, it's right up there in win rate. It's a very strong deck as well, with its best matchups being Zoe Felios, Ezreal Anti-Control, Ezreal Anti-Control featuring Katarina, and also Nivea Karma. Now the worst matchups are Rumble Vane, Callista Nocturne Fearsomes, Seraphine, and also Pirates. Getting into the list specifically, we have Production Surge. Spend all your mana to summon random turrets. Pretty cool, especially if you need to like turbo level Heimer. Uh, double Thermal Beam for removal. French Rise. French Rise is really good to get out early. Can block, you know, like a 2-1 or something like that and still live. Whenever you summon other turrets, they share keywords with the French Rise. That's really cool. Forge Chief. Just like in Jace Lux. 1 mana 2-1. Refill the spell mana. Really good. Uh, 2 Pilt Love and Telstones. Same reason as well. Progress Day or Aftershock. Uh, 2 Quietus. Premium Shadow Isles removal card. Even though it did get nerfed, still really good against the early game champions and also... Uh, units that you want to get rid of. Anenshir, same thing as the Jace Lux, really broken card. Triple Mystic, Triple Vile Feast for removal, Triple Flash. Now this is a really good combo card with Heimer, because you can play Heimer on 5 and then like Flash Flash, and you get two 3 cost turrets and that's really annoying, and a couple spells, so yeah, it's a really cool card to play alongside Heimer at burst speed, especially if he gets removed immediately, you can just get some turrets out of him, and really really fun combo. Next tech Handler, play a 6 cost spell, and then uh, he gets 1-1, one, one, and he also grants that to every turret you're going to summon for the rest of the game, and also any turret that's already summoned. Really nice. Just big plus one plus one to the turrets. Uh, Jace. Double cast spells. Really nice. We play six cost stuff, so we like that. Formula. Draw two, of course, just like the Jace Lux rundown. Vengeance. Really, really good single target removal. Non-conditional. You just kill something. Really, really good to have. Um, especially at the six cost spot, it can be... Uh, a great turret for Heimer. So something to keep in mind is that Heimer uh, generates a turret for each of the spells that you cast at different cost amounts, right? So what that means is if you cast Mystic Shot, Heimer is going to give you a uh, tough turret. If you cast the Flash of Brilliance, you're going to get a Fearsome turret. If you cast a 6 cost spell, you get an Elusive turret. Now this can get really scary. If this is buffed with Hextech Handler, it's a 7-2 with Elusive, which is kind of hard to deal with. You play multiple, you can kind of win the game. So yeah, that is going to be one of our win cons, is using turrets as pressure and just keep summoning them as really annoying units with keywords. Then we have Albus. Uh, again, tutors Jace and also deals direct damage to the enemy Nexus, being a pseudo finisher, while also being a consistency card. And that's it for this deck rundown. Now here's a live commentary game so you can see how it plays out. Alright, for the example game, we have the new uh, keg spam uh, OTK deck type thing. It's uh, pretty annoying. So let's get rid of Vengeance. We have Jay's Flash Formula. I mean, that's really good. But it's like, we kind of have to kill them early. Um, I don't know. This is probably going to be interesting. I haven't fought the deck too much, but I do know it is very powerful. Urchin, grass testing, wow. Okay. Make it rain. Oh, we have a mystic. We got we got some removal. Um that's fine. I'm just gonna float and see what happens. We could formula on three. French fries. I like playing French fries here. That's pretty chill. Coral. Um, is that worth Quietus? What else would be really Quietusing? A keg or something? Now, yeah, let's Quietus, and then we can attack with French Fries. Try to get the Zana Urchin, or we can just ignore it, keep French Fries up, play Jace. I like Jace on four, that's fine. That unit just has too many stat points. It's kind of annoying. Use French Rise to prevent damage and also their attack turn. Base quick attack. Nothing beats field testing. I want Heimer off the top. Heimer would be so good for us. Second, make it rain. Yep. We're going into five floating three, so that's eight. We can do Pharos. And then also play the 6-cost spell. Because these are like mid-6-cost spells. Handler. Um, yeah, so Financier for sure. 
Expliterator, Utter Devastation, Give It All. They're kind of gamer <laughs> spells right here. You can tell me. Uh, that annoying unit comes down on five, we just Hexbliterate, right? That's the one. That is the one right there. Mischievous Mirai. New card, Pog. Ow. Alright, I mean, that's fine. Not a super big deal. Is one of those things gone? Drum solo. Mm -hmm. And then pass. That's cool. Let's do a um, handler. Come on, nugget. And then float perfect spell mana. They can play Jace and some shenanigans. Jace, number two, will have quick attack again. Hey big man! You ready to get in Venton? <laughs> All day, every day, Reggie. Um Oh my goodness, they are drawing cards. That is something they're doing. If, that, if Twisted Fate was down, he'd actually like level really quickly. Infinite draw. Alright. Sheesh. Your entire hand's full, bro. What are you doing with all that? Because I know what I'm doing. I'm gaming. Um, Do we want a different spell than... Okay, let's just do Flash first. We can always do Flash first. True Shot Barrage? Cool. Formula, go. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. Mm. Uh. Mystic, that means we push more damage, right? Sounds good to me. Because they only have one uh, actual mana left, we spell mana. Get rid of this, we get to push five extra. Eleven. We can deal six with True Shot. Oh, another Jury Rig, alright. Alright, sure. That means the Mystic Shot helped me push four. That's still worth it. Warning shot? Nice. Another handler. This thing again. This thing again. So it would seem. Hmm. How fast do I die? Let's do Financia first, because I have 9 mana. So I can still do True Shot after. Kill a unit, drain 5 from a unit. Kill a unit, drain 5 from a unit. Uh, draining 5 is probably better. Okay, so I can True Shot Barrage or I can Drain, depending on how low I get. Ending. Just ending your turn. Okay. Let me Drain that then. So I know this is kind of like a combo burn deck, so being high HP is probably good value for me. Yeah, yeah. Play some spells. I know you have some sh- oh my goodness, holy. Okay, hold up. Okay, caustic, caustic. Sheesh! What the hell? Oh. Alright. I'm not sure if that was the correct line of action, but I'm not going to question it. That's two of those units dealt with, which is the uh, main combo of the deck. Completely dealt with. Uh, we play Albus here for sure. Deal seven. <laughs> nice. Oh, gold. Boo. Okay, we can keep him alive. Ah, uh, do Exploderator. Another one of these? Oh no. The third and final card. Alright. Am I dying to four cards? I mean, I highly doubt it. I don't think that's possible, so I'm just gonna kill this thing. ASAP. Okay, it's starting. 
<laughs> Play the sexy sax miracle rogue song. That's basically what this is at this point. Um, True Shot Barrage, Hexblit. Hexbliterator. Then we can Vial as a response. Thermo for three on the TF. I like that. All right, let's just lead Hexbliterator. Because I want to say Vile so I can interact with this powder keg here. Like this. Forces them to be on another spell. And then we'll just finish off TF with Thermo, right? This makes sense to me. Even though this doesn't. Alright. Okay. Are we chill? I think we're chill. All or nothing. Um. Watch your toes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're chill. From all of that. All right, Jace and acceleration gate time. Jace. Uh, quick attack. Albus, you wanted to see me? Yes. I want to see what you're doing with the Pharaoh's fortune. Red. Oh man. All right. Never mind. No acceleration gate time. They're just stalling. I'm a people person. Drum solo. Yep. Powering up. You are not tame. All right. This is going to be like a slow bleed out then. Damage. Oh, is it just going to TF level time? Is that what this is? Oh my goodness, it looks like it. Holy. How did this happen? Turbo TF Gaming, what? So Coral. Um, three, two, one. Hey, show me that again. That does max damage. Top deck, advanced intel. Wow, very cool. Oh, that's mean. Double Ezzel. No more K. Hmm? I am evil K. And that. These Hextech handlers are about to turbo buff my production surge. Ready? Okay, sure. Mystic shot all you want. Like, check this out. Even if it's one turret. Oh, look at that. My 1-1's one, now a 4-4. Four, four. Should we Albus because it's Giga Chad? Yeah. The Albus finish. Minus 37. Boom. Overall, the meta is looking pretty versatile, actually, with many decks from the last patch still being good as they were not hit too hard. Uh, some things definitely being shaken up, and these decks just rising to power out of nowhere. There's definitely room for new decks to come up and for these ones to shift, so definitely stay tuned for updates. This has been Meta Report. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Laters!